Good morning. It's April 15th, 2020. Most of us are in isolation. And this video is called, God, is my miracle life about to end because of the COVID virus 19? I was born in 1953. As children, we were told that we were created by God because God loved us and that life was a gift and that God was good and God was great. Then about seven years old in the Catholic Church, the time you started to receive First Communion, people were told that the, about the devil and sin, about confession, we were born into sin because Adam and Eve disobeyed God and ate that forbidden apple when they were told not to. Now, couldn't have God created more apples? And if God knows everything, couldn't God have just, uh, if he knows everything, then he knew Adam and Eve were going to disobey him. Just saying, if God knows everything, then he knew this was going to happen. Having cerebral palsy, a mother of great faith dying of bone cancer, her flying around the world, the Lord's friends, to pray for me right before she passed away at two years old, that has always been on my mind. I was never supposed to walk and talk, and six or eight weeks later after she passed, I started to walk and talk. Was that delay reaction of my cerebral palsy? Or was that a miracle? At five years old, my hands closed up and I have these hands. I hated them until I was about eight years old, but my mom, stepmother, who I considered my mom, would teach me to be as independent as I could possibly B. She was the best. Going to school with other disabled children until I was almost 14 taught me about life and so many kids inspired me. So many of them also died in their early teens. Also taught me to be thankful and appreciative of my life. Regular school was always my dream. Most of the kids in regular school were great and very cool, but a few were not. So I started smoking in summer school and swearing like a sailor to fit in. At the end of the summer, I even got high for the first time. It was about 1966 or 1967. I used to kneel at this time nightly and say my prayers before I went to bed, but that would change quickly when I started regular school. I was never bullied until I started regular school. I did, want, I did not want my parents to know I was smoking weed. They knew someone who had substance, substance abuse issues it would really have been hard on them. I always knew I was gay, but figured God did not make mistakes. And that um, I would have wanted to die if I hurt my parents or embarrassed them because I was gay because of it. I was a teen, and I knew when I got older that I was would work on that. And besides, I was not ready to be involved in a relationship or sexually active at that age. I started smoking at the, uh, in the seventh grade, and by 25, I was smoking two packs a day. My mom was also dying of cancer like my mother, Mary, and I knew if I did not stop smoking, I would die too. I quit for a few days and called up my mom and I told her I quit in honor of her and if I started up it meant that I gave up on life. I knew that 
I was not playing around and I was not lying to God. If you believe in God, then you know that you can't lie to God or bullshit him. On September 1st, 2019, my sister Sue passed away. She had lung cancer, lung cancer and never smoked a day in her life. My friend Bill Eisner of 55 years also died of lung cancer in November. Both Bill and my sister never smoked a day in their life. They were both strong Christians. God, why did they die and why did I survive smoking two packs of cigarettes a day? Why this virus and why this pandemic, God? Why, are, why all this pain? You are supposed to be all-knowing and all-loving, but so many people are suffering. I have lived a very interesting life, and I will be grateful if I survive this pandemic, as I am sure a lot of other people will be too. Nobody lives forever, and I have always understood that. The virus came upon us so quickly and many people feel helpless, scared, confused, and we have coverage of it 24-7. And that's not always the best thing for us to be tuning into the media all the time. I have always felt other people's pain, sadness, fear, often by their voice, tone, or their body language. Someday I hope to rest in peace with my loved ones whom I have already passed on. I am fortunate and the world is often, uh, uh, I am fortunate and blessed, but the word is often overused by many Christians. I am 66 years old and uh, with cerebral palsy, I have multiple issues and grateful I am alive. I wish people believed in love and forgiveness as much as I have in my life. I, would, I have always thought that God wanted us to do that, to be loving and forgiving. Every day is a gift and life is too short for any of us, no matter how long we live. Be well, take care, and try to stay healthy. I'm sure my brothers and sisters worry about their kids and their grandchildren. and We're all concerned and trying to do the best we can. Stay healthy, be good, and let's hope that we can all survive this the uh, best that we can. Have a good day. Peace and love. John.